Hello friends, uh, welcome to our YouTube channel where we are presenting uh, lessons in mathematics. So in this lesson, we continue dealing with uh, trigonometry, right? But our interest is to deal with the cosine rule, okay? In the last video, I presented on uh, the sine rule, okay? So here we want to see how we can utilize the cosine rule to solve a non-right angle triangle. Okay, now we are saying, suppose we have a nine right angle triangle ABC as it belong, like this one. All right, all right. Um, so we have triangle ABC. Okay, uh, you agree with me that when we are dealing with um, cosine nu, okay, of course, this is angle A, uh, this is angle B, and this is angle what? C, okay. When we are dealing with the 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 the, the, uh, the sine rule, we said if I'm dealing with this angle A, the side that will be opposite to this one, which is side BC, will be denoted by small letter A. If this is B, that is, that will be denoted by small letter B. That is side AC. All right? If this is angle C, this side A uh, AB or BA, which is opposite to angle C, will be denoted by what? Uh, side D C. Okay. Now we are saying when you are dealing with the cosine rule. What does the, the law uh, states? We are saying the law states that for any side of a triangle such as BC, that is a nine right angle triangle, okay? Uh, if I want to find um, uh, any side of a triangle, supposing we want to find side D, A, side D, which is BC, what happens? We are saying you need to square this side. <coughs> then you equate it to the sum of the squares of these two sides. So we are going to square the other sides. That is B and C. So you said B squared plus C squared. Okay? Minus 2BC cos of A. Okay? What does that mean? What that means is that uh, if you want to find uh, uh, B, this side B. The procedure will be the same. Okay? So we are going to say B squared is equal to A squared plus C squared minus 2AC cos of what? B. Okay? That is how we are going to get B. If you want to find C, it's the same. So we are going to say C squared. Then you say, okay, which two sides are remaining? It is A and B. So we are going to say A squared plus B squared minus 2AB. A, B, cos, cos what? C. Okay? Cos C, C. There. Okay? Okay, so that's how you're going to get uh, this side. Alright? Similarly, if you want to find an angle, we use the same formula. But what we do in most cases, we would uh, would like to make that angle the subject. So if I'm dealing with the a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2a uh, 2bc cos a if you make a the subject of the formula you're going to have cos a here you start with b squared plus c squared minus side a over to to uh, bc so if you are dealing with the angle b it means you are going to say cos b right is equal to a squared Plus, instead of, you not use B, but you are going to say C squared minus, now B, B squared. Everything here should be divided by what? 2AC. Alright? That is how you are going to get that angle. Okay? I hope that is clear. That is how you are going to get that angle. Okay? So now let's look at an example that we have here. Okay? Let's look at an example. I hope you will be able to, to see it. Okay. Uh, we are saying in triangle in the triangle below, find the length of NK. I hope we have seen the, the, the triangle we're talking about. Okay. Okay, so that's a question. So we have triangle M in uh M n and e, k so the question is can we find any k okay 
So, let's look at the other question first. There's something that I want to address. All right? We are saying, in, in the second question, we are saying, in triangle A, B, A, B, C, can we find angle A, B, C? All right? Here, we want to find an angle. Here, we want to find a side. So, these two situations, actually, um, tell us what cosine law is all about. Okay? So, cosine law is all about finding an angle, finding a side, when you have got two sides and an angle. Then here, you need to find an angle when you have all the three sides. Okay? You need to find an angle when you have got all the three sides. Okay, so how do we go about it? Okay, so we are going to, to work out something. I'll try to, to solve. Okay, and uh, see that uh, these things are easy. All right, so we have a triangle here. I will draw the triangle. Okay, so that's a... That's a triangle we are talking about. So we have a line here. So we have uh, this one as well. So here there's K. Here there's N. And here we have our M. All right. And that uh, this angle is 92 degrees. Okay. Uh, 10 kilometers. Here have 8 uh, kilometers. Okay. And again, I must mention that in an exam, when you have this kind of a question, usually will give you uh, five marks okay so now we are saying if this is m this is side m this is side k and this is side d n so what do we want to find is m so we we'll say m squared is equal to all right the other two sides now that are remaining which is k which is n and e k so we we'll square these two sides so we'll say n squared plus k squared minus two uh, minus 2 uh, n k n k cos of what? this angle m so you put capital m ok so now we are going to say m squared is equal to what is our n? our n is 8 so we have 8 squared plus what is our k? 10 squared minus 2 here 8, our n is 8, then here you can put 10, multiplied by, here there's a multiplication sign here, right? So you have got cos, what is angle m? 92, okay? So now we are going to say m squared, what is um, 8 squared? It is 64, what is it? 10 squared? 100, so when you add this, um, you have... Uh, 164 all right then you get your calculator a scientific calculator you, you multiply negative 2 multiplied by 8 multiplied by 10 multiplied by cos 92 once you do that you do that the answer will be positive 5.58391 uh you have uh, 94 Seven two. This is what we are going to get. Okay, I hope that is that is okay. This is what we are going to get. So now, um, adding this, what we get. So m squared will produce. When you add one sixty four to five, you have got one sixty nine point. These numbers here: five eight uh, three nine one nine four seven two all right but our interest is to get m and not m to the power two so we get rid of this two how say m is equal to you square both sides all right the moment you square root there you just remain with m so we have 169.58 one nine four uh, seven two all right so we are going to have uh m that is equal to the square root of this is 13.02243975. That's what I found. Right? You can verify with your, your, your calculator. Of course, I've used the calculator on my phone. 
So now, you round off this answer to three significant figures. That is what ECZ would demand. But remember, the question was, we find the NK. So we are going to say, therefore, uh, NK is equal to, so you say one, two, three. You cut a line here and consider this number, all right? If the number that is here is above five, or five and above is taken to be one. So one plus this, right? If it is below five, that is four and below, they're going to be zero. Zero plus that, all right? So in this case, we take two as zero. Zero plus zero, you get zero. So we have 13.0 kilometers. So this is the answer there, all right? That is the answer for, for this one. So here we know that it is 13.0 kilometers. I hope that is clear. Okay. We can now deal with the, the second one, okay? The second one, we have a triangle here. Okay, this is a triangle that we have. So we have A here, B, C there, okay? And that this is seven, this is 7.5, and that this is eight centimeters. So what we want to find is this angle here, all right? So if we want to find, uh, that angle here, which is B, remember, if we were to go by this approach, okay, we were to go by this approach. So if here there is A, we are saying B squared plus C squared minus A squared. If you put B here, so here there will be A squared plus C squared minus uh, B squared over to uh, AC, all right? So now, we want to find the, this, okay? So what are we going to do? we we'll start with cos B. Say cos of B is equal to uh, A squared plus C squared minus B squared. We divide everything by 2AC, okay? So here, what is our A? Our A is what? Take note, this is A, this is B, and this is what? C. So our A is 8. Okay? What is our B? 7. So we are saying B is 7, and C is 7.5. So we substitute and get the answer. All right? Simple. So we are saying cos B is equal to a what is our a eight so say eight squared plus c what is my c 7.5 so i'll say 7.5 squared minus my b is seven so i'll say seven squared All right i divide everything by two open bracket what is my a seven All right our A is uh, 8, sorry. So here we have 8. Then my C is uh, 7.5. So 7.5. Okay. So now, so cos B is equal to, when you work out this, right, you're going to get 71.25 when you work it out on your calculator. All right. Then when you compute this, you're going to get 120. All right. That's what you're going to get. Now, what we want to find is B here. But how do we get rid of the cos? So say uh, angle B is equal to cos inverse of 71.25 divided by 120 degrees. Okay, so you can find direct this on your calculator. I think I was able to show how to bring about this on your, on your phone. All right, you just punch second function or shift as the case may be. Then of course this will come. You say open bracket 71.25 divided by 120, then you close. So what do we get when we do that? So say angle B is equal to uh 53.576. Alright. Uh four two six uh three five eight degrees. Now, according to ECZ, all right, according to ECZ, the Examination Council of Zambia, when you're dealing with the degrees and the question does not carry any instruction, you round it off to, to 
one decimal place. So we're going to say, therefore, because the question was saying, can we get, um, this was the question, can we get angle ABC? Okay, so we're going to say, therefore, angle ABC is equal to, so after a point, you count one digit, which will be somewhere there. Then you consider this one as one. One plus five, six. So we have got 53.60 degrees. This is the answer. Okay, that's how we get that. Now, I, 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 um, I have to mention one thing here about the last triangle here, the last question. Because we only had sides. So look, this is eight centimeters. This is seven centimeters and this is 7.5. What that means is that this angle here, that corresponds to eight is the biggest angle of all these three, all right? Then this uh, this angle here, which corresponds to seven, is the smallest. So the 53.6 that were found, it will be the smallest in this triangle, all right? This will be the smallest uh, triangle followed by this one. Then the biggest will be this, okay? That's how you get uh, those... Uh, uh, angles and the sides so i hope this presentation has been very helpful okay so if you have liked our presentation please subscribe to our channel okay so with me i'm going to um, give you an exercise which you are going to try okay okay so that is for, uh, the first question find the length of a b okay then uh, the second question we are saying find the value of angle P, Q, R. So we have to find the value of this angle. Okay, that's where we end for this presentation. Thanks so much.